This is Noortje. Noortje is five years old and has epilepsy. Noortje has 20 to 30 attacks a day. Can you imagine what that means? Her mom, a career woman, had to quit her job. Her father has to drive two hours a day to bring her to a special school. And Noortje's sisters? They have become accustomed to being in second place when it comes to attention from their parents. You can imagine that this family benefits from help. But where do you actually find help as a parent? Is there a, a database with caregivers? Is there an easy way to Google it? Are there institutions capable in finding the right caregiver for your child? Well, actually not. Working as a child psychologist for different healthcare institutions, I realized how complex and untransparent the youth care system is. Parents do not know where to find the right help. So I decided that starting my own practice is not enough. I needed to change the system. In the Netherlands, we spent three and a half billion euros on youth care. Nevertheless, the quality of care is a problem. First of all, there will be a cut of a half billion euro this year. Secondly, care is decentralized. So less budget and more complexity. All of this is not making it easier for a parent to find the right caregiver. And the advice from the government? Well, support yourself. In the Netherlands, there are 250,000 children like Noortje. And believe me, as a child psychologist, it impacts the whole family when this group of children do not get the right care. Mothers get a burnout, relationships break up, and children get mentally overloaded. I have seen it all, you don't want that. So, how are we going to solve this problem? How are we going to match parents to the right caregivers? I believe the answer is in technology. Think about Uber, LinkedIn, Airbnb. Using their matching technologies and their functionalities is the most natural thing in the world, right? Well, for healthcare in general or youth care specific, it's not. Digital innovation has only just started in these areas. We need to change faster than that. Change must be more radical to give people suitable access to care. I believe it is within our reach to change this. And actually, we have already built it. Imagine an online platform in the youth care. A platform with the biggest, with the largest online network of caregivers. Imagine what that means for our society, for our health care. I think this is within our reach. And actually, we, me and my team, have already built it. Our mission is to radically change the way people have access to care. We built the first online platform in the Netherlands that makes access to care just transparent, gives parents control over the process of finding a suitable caregiver for their child, and offers a match between families and caregivers. We call ourselves Entijs. Willemijn en Thijs, Lodewijk en Thijs, Noortje en Thijs. A child with special needs needs a caregiver with a special talent. They need Thijs. Wij zijn thuis in jouw situatie. From a homework buddy for your child with HID, all the way to a caregiver for your child with anorexia. And there is more. En Thijs also offers employment. Because of the governmental cuts, there are about 6,000 professionals looking for a job within the youth care. Thanks to our technology, these professionals are now directly connected to families who need help. Even though the platform is not aligned yet, already 120 caregivers have signed up. And even more exciting, the local government of Amsterdam and one of the biggest institutions, youth care institutions of the Netherlands, wants to partner with us. We know that the youth care is ready for a change. And I like to use this opportunity to use TEDx where it's meant to be useful. Spread ideas worth spreading. Let's fundamentally change the way we have access to care. Let's do this for Noortje. Thank you.